Good morning, grade 5. Today it's Monday, 23rd of March, and we will continue our lesson. We'll continue our lesson. Lesson 4, what are some ocean ecosystems? So, let us see what we have done in our last class. It was about intertidal zone. Intertidal habitats depend on land features. I told you to remember the word inter means between and tidal means between tides. So it is between the tides and the shore or between the tides and the ocean floor. Now girls, uh, the richness of the reef, we have to see here that how the ocean is <clears throat> Shallowest near the shore. Sunlight warms the water and supports the plant life. Animal feed on plants. The area is rich with life. So the inter, the area between the intertidal zone and the open ocean is called the near shore zone. Again, between the intertidal zone and the open ocean, it's the near shore zone. So after yesterday's class, today you'll be finishing the writing part of same till page 523. So the question here is which part of the ocean is home to the most organisms? Near shore zone, which is near shore zone, it is between the intertidal zone and the open shore. Just now I told you which one is so rich. It's between the intertidal zone and the open ocean. That is home for most of the organisms. Your lesson vocabulary is intertidal zone, coral reef, plankton. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girls, for these disturbance. He's my son. Okay, so write what the animal does during a low tide. Here you'll be writing what the animal does during the low tide organism like example bird is an organism it feeds in tight pools okay it searches its food in tight pools what does the crab do it burrows beneath the sand i told you yesterday's class that especially when it is low tide and you know they are visible the the predators can see them and they can hunt hunt them so what do they do they go and they burrow themselves beneath the sand so the crabs they burrow beneath the sands and the bird feeds in tight pool small fish find shelter amongst the branchial coral how does this make the reef a hearty food web you know that if a small fish can survive to produce many young there will be more food for the medium-sized fish it's obvious when the small fish can produce many young, there'll be more food now for the medium-sized fish. And again, which in turn, more big fishes that can attract and feed the larger fishes. The medium-sized fish, fishes get attracted by the larger fishes. And then... So this is for today. Please complete these pages. And I will start with the new pages tomorrow, inshallah. Till, take care till then. And once again, I'm sorry for the disturbance. Today.